All right. Let's see what we can do here. Going <clears> to <throat> work on some A6 cards. Um, it's a very simple process to make <clears throat> this size, which turns into a nice card if you want to put it in a little frame, ca uh, card frame to, and with an envelope. You can do that. But I'm thinking of trying to make images that we can then put in the small frames uh, mold. And instead of trying to paint that size, <clears throat> I thought it'd be better just to paint a card and then look for the image that would fit uh, the frame the best. So let's see what we can do here. <clears throat> so even though the frames mold is going to be um, this way, we could paint the card uh, on a horizontal and then try to find the best spot. Uh, but we'll just see how it goes. <clears throat> so first thing always is to paint skies. So let's put some wax on an iron, a little of that. <clears throat> Put a little pink in there, dash of yellow maybe, <clears throat> and let's create a sky. Okay, here we go. And just like that, you have a sky. <clears throat> so then you want to put something underneath it. Uh, just grab some color. Um, it doesn't really make much difference what you use <clears throat> because the method that I like to work with is <clears throat> just putting a bunch of wax <clears throat> straight down on the card like that. <clears throat> then taking the iron and sliding it up to make a line, okay? Okay. It's the easiest way, I think, to do it. <clears throat> um, I've already got a little mess over here, but it doesn't have to worry about that. We'll fix it as we go. So then we want to take a color to choose. And uh, you know what? I'm going to use some silver. <clears throat> Just because it kind of makes an interesting effect with uh, making some hills and mountains. So we're going to go up here, come down, go up, come down, turn around, up and down, back down this way, come around again, up and down. Okay. And let's come back here. And bring some of that wax over, come back, push some of that up. <clears throat> like that, and then let's try to find a little brown here. <clears throat> Just do a little stamping at the bottom because that gives an effect of, <clears throat> of grasses like that. So, how's that? We kind of instantly have a little image of some mountains. Now, <clears throat> we'll set it aside because we can do some more things with it, but while I'm at it, I think I'll just do some more of this whole total look and then we'll do some detail work uh, afterwards. So let's see. Let's start over again. <clears throat> let's make a sky. Some wax down. <clears throat> uh, let's see. What should I do here? <clears throat> I'll put a little gold in the sky. Uh, put a little yellow in there. <clears throat> a little pink and 
a touch of orange. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see what we get for a sky this time. Here we go. There we go. Mm, kind of nondescript. Let's see if we could add a little something, something to make it more dramatic. Let's throw a little blue in there. Eh, now we've got an interesting sky. All right. Let's do something underneath that. Let's see. <clears throat> we could try to do, let's see, I've got some green and brown. Okay, let's try this. Let's do um, green on the iron and brown up here on this edge. <clears throat> and try to make some um, rolling hills. So we'll come over, oh, come over here, down, over, up, and back, and over, and back, over, and back. All right, so there we go. Now let's stamp a little bit in front, like this. All right, maybe a little more over here. All right, swoop it like that. <clears throat> okay, so just an interesting little rolling hills in the sky that we can then add some detail to. So we'll put that one aside. <clears throat> okay, let's see, what else could we do? <clears throat> let's make another sky. Um, let's go for drama this time. Let's put some white on here and some red and some orange and what else here <clears throat> and maybe some yellow okay and this would be quite okay that's going to be rather dramatic so let's see what it looks like so we've got that Come across. Okay, mm, that's not too good here. Let's see. I'm gonna add some of this and come back in. Uh, let's see if we can. Okay, I like that. <clears throat> All right, so now let's try to work with an idea that will come out, if I can get the right look here. <clears throat> let's take some of this, okay, and maybe some brown, okay. <clears throat> This time we'll come across here and we'll move this all up into a line like that. All right. And now let's move this around. Um, okay. Let's try this with a little bit up here and then come across and then let's go up, back down, all right over, down, come across and up again.
Let's see if we can't make a an attempt at Let's see. Well, it's maybe, maybe. Let's see how it turns out. Okay, another one over here. Okay, and down. Back. Okay. Let's see here. All right. Now let's go across the bottom and uh, put a base on it, like that. And that look is pretty much like a Sedona backdrop. So this would be nice for putting something in the foreground. We can work with this one, okay? I'm going to take a little break here and continue. <clears throat> so what's nice about working this way is that if you took your frames mold, <clears throat> you can realize that on this picture, you could get two uh, pictures off this one card okay um, so that if we were going to finish this we might think about that where we would start putting something in the foreground on both sides <clears throat> so we could use it in two frames so let's see why don't we consider let's see unwrapping our cords <laughs> so we can work <laughs> let's see um, Let's put, um, let's see, let's put uh, one of these right here. Um, Now, a lot of these plants will have, especially at this time of year, uh, in the spring, <clears throat> it's almost like Jack and the Beanstalk, if you've never seen it before. A plant like this will send up a shoot. You can't believe how tall these will go, you can almost watch it growing day by day. Um, and this stalk <laughs> usually has the appearance almost of a large piece of asparagus. It's really interesting the way it's built. Um, and Then a lot of times when it does that, that's sort of the end of the cycle of that plant and it, uh, the whole plant may die afterwards. <clears throat> so anyway, they do send up these amazing shoots. Yeah. It's not perfect, but it's kind of like that look. Now, you never worry about the bottom part of your plant, okay? Because all we have to do <clears throat> is take our iron and come across. Now, let's see what I do, make a little mess there. Okay, we just have to come across the bottom like that. And let's add a little wax. Okay. Hmm. I did a little gibber there. I just come around here and fix it up this way. Okay. 
<clears throat> so we got something growing on that side of the card. And maybe on, <clears throat> on this side, uh, <clears throat> is uh, some ocotillos. Those are also found in the desert here. So they look like a bunch of sticks standing up. And in the wintertime, they're just dead looking sticks. But this time of the year, they will start to leaf out. And so what happens is that that's a little bit too much. You will start getting them just leafing out. So we could just make these look like they are starting to sprout some leaves. Um, there. And let's see, something else we could do so that we could have a little action is uh, we could make sure we have a get, a, get a bird flying in the air, huh? Maybe two of them. See, what we have a lot of down here is hawks. And they get very busy looking for breakfast. Now we'll do another one over here. Okay, so now let's see if we put our frames mold over this. See, we could have a picture here and we could have a picture here. Not bad. Okay, we'll set that aside. And let's see. Here we have some mountains. We could put uh, Oh, well, we could do cactus on both sides. How's that? Let's just... Perfect, but you know, let's do let's do them on both sides. Okay. Again, you know, we don't have to worry about the bottom because we can just come in here and do something like that. <clears throat> Finish off the bottom. Then we could take a pointed stylus and do a little Let's just kind of make it look a little like they've got some thorns growing on them. So we can go down those. And we can go up here in the middle. Okay. Getting to be that time of year where these uh, 
cactus are going to bloom. If you've never seen the desert blooming, it's just amazing at these dead looking cactus plants come alive with the most beautiful colors and blossoms. But on the uh, ones like this, you just get a little white top knot up on top. So we could put a little bit of that right at the top like that. That's basically what they do. They kind of flower that way. Okay. And let's see. We could come in here and, you know, decorate some of this foliage. Just drop a little color in. Like that. Maybe we could put a little, uh, little uh, green in front of the mountains. Some tree, a little lighter green would help. Oh, maybe some yellow even. Maybe that would help it a bit. see simple but not so not bad. And then if we take our frame again we have a picture on that side and we have a picture on this side. That's not too bad. <clears throat> All right so we've got one more to go here. Um, what about if we just did something like this? Yeah, not complicated, just sort of simple. Um, oh, if you wanted to, <clears throat> we could come in. Pretty simple, but maybe that works. 
Yeah, that's not bad, huh? Uh, maybe just underneath, we should put a little grass. Let's do that. Okay, well, I think we did it. We've got a simple one over here. Could add a tree or something there. But here we've got six little pictures that we could put in frames. So I just thought that would be something I could share with you. They're fast, they're easy, they're, they're not complicated. And uh, I hope you might just, you know, give it a try. Talk to you.